everybody, it's Alison from digiteachonline.com. Happy Sunday and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining why it's so important for online teachers to have their own online program. Don't look to buy an online program or an online curriculum or even online lessons from anywhere else. I'm going to explain why and I firmly believe this is how my latest brand went from zero to nearly 50,000 online adult ESL learners in just two years and I think this is part of the secret of the success. So let's dive straight in. There's only four major points and find out what they are. Okay, so the first reason why having your own online program is so important is because of price point. So basically, let's put it like this. If you go and buy an ESL online program, for example, if you're an online ESL teacher and you go and buy an online ESL program from somewhere online, that means that your potential students can do the same thing two. There is nothing unique about that. Therefore, you have immediately decreased the value of your services. You won't be able to charge any more or much more than what that lesson plan was being sold at. Even if you use the excuse that, oh, you can practice your English accent with me. <laughs> it doesn't really help you to get your foot right in the door. So that's the first reason why having your own online program is so important. The second reason really on, on the back of this is that you're going into business to be a freelancer teacher, a freelance online teacherpreneur or online ESL teacher to make money. If you're not creating, if you spend a long time creating lessons and all these other digital resources to sell and you're not able to sell them for very much money, then there's no point in creating them. So you have to create something that is slightly unique, but is also useful so that people will want to buy it. And also, you're in business to make money, ultimately. That's why you started your own online business, to make money. So an online program is a perfect way for you to gain constant income. I have a number of online programs, uh, some for DigiTeach, some for my other businesses, and they are bringing me in money every single day. It's not the higher programs a lot of the time, it's the smaller price programs that bring in the money. And they are often the easiest and the quickest ones to create. So don't get led down the garden path of, you have to spend months creating this massive program and evaluating it. That is total nonsense. The third reason is when you have your own online program, you are able to predict financial forecasts for your business a lot better because you'll be able to start to see trends and predictions in your marketing. And you will also get a better idea of who your clients are because of what you're doing and who's buying and who's not. This is gold. And if you're using something like the Facebook Pixel, which you now have to pay quite a bit to use with their ads, so although you're paying technically for data to help you with your business, it is a little bit more expensive uh, to, you know, to use today now since that Apple and Facebook kind of fell out. So creating your own online program and creating different resources and support groups and other things um, to really help you earn an online income is a really, really good idea. And if you want to know more about how you can actually earn multiple streams of income from your own knowledge, then have a little look at the Teacherpreneurs Evolution System, which is my membership course, um, where I teach anybody who wants to learn how to create their own online business from zero effectively. The fourth really good reason why online teachers should create their own online programs is because of the pure lesson in content creation. Now, when you create your own online program, you're going to be writing a lesson, you're going to be creating content, you're going to be recording it, you're going to be learning how to edit it. And by the way, if you don't know how to do that, my handy little four hour online video workshop, all pre-recorded with an amazing planner, will also help you to get to know how to do all of that. 
is going to make you a better teacherpreneur. So what's the difference between a teacher and a teacherpreneur? So a teacher is just, you know, you let you teach students how to do something. Quite often you're paid by uh, your employer, your school or an agency or you subcontract. But the problem often with subcontracting is that you're still being treated like an employee, subject to all sorts of policies and regimes, but you don't actually have any freedom on how you do most things. A teacherpreneur is where you create your own online business, so your online programs, your online courses, and other different things, products and services, from the knowledge that you have. Now, when you start creating your own online program, you're going to be learning a lot of different skills that you perhaps didn't know how to do before, that you're going to be able to use across your business. So it's going to absolutely widen your skill set. When you create your own online program, you're ultimately going to be creating content that you can also use in your marketing. So it's going to make your brand bigger and better, and it's going to make your marketing message clearer and stronger. And these are the things that you need to really be good at if you're going to be a self-employed online teacher or an online teacherpreneur. So forget all the nonsense of people trying to flog you ESL curriculums because all of those lesson plans people have seen many, many times before. And in my business that has got thousands of adult learners, believe you me, they send me screenshots of stuff sometimes and say, what is this? What does this mean? And the amount of times I see the same stuff again. And when I ask them, are you, you know, are you really happy about that? Have you tried da 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 da, which is like my business? Um, then, you know, and they do, they're like, oh, this is great. The way you've put this together is really great. And that is something that generic platforms, generic programs cannot do. When you create your own online program, the thought process and how you break everything down in your online program and in your online lessons is invaluable. It's invaluable to you as a business owner, but ultimately to the person you're trying to help who is your student. So make sure if you're an online teacher and you want to become a teacherpreneur, start thinking seriously about creating your own online programme. Now this brings me to my final step. So this isn't really because we've done four. This is just like my bonus step. Lots of people, and I briefly mentioned this in this uh, video, say you have to create a massively long programme, take months building it, testing it, blah, blah, blah. It's nonsense. My first ESL program that I created for adults was like, I think it was four lessons long. It took me a couple of hours to record and then I created all the additional resources. From that, I built it week by week by week. But the first program I sold as a standalone course, that is now a 10 lesson standalone entry point to my English learners uh, membership and that works really, really well for a number of reasons. One, it's a low price price point. People don't want to pay, especially at the moment because of the pandemic, a lot of money for a course, even less so if they don't know you. So if you're new to the business world, if your business is new, if your brand is new, if your products and services are new and you aren't someone renowned that's worked for an amazingly big company like Oxford University Press or something else, then it's going to be very difficult for you to convince people to part with lots of money for your products or services. That's why a smaller program is much better. Thirdly, it gives them a real taste of you, what you're about, what your program is about, what your business is about. Because ultimately, you want to find the right type of clients and students that are aligned with you and your way of teaching. Don't forget, you've gone into being an online teacher, teacherpreneur, because you enjoy what you want to do. So create a business structure with business clients that are aligned together. You don't want to spend your time and money teaching people who you don't really want to teach because they're not that pleasant and they have a different idea about the type of education that you're trying to show them. So 
make sure that you think about that because that's really important. You don't want to go to work in your own business and be miserable. Nobody wants that. And again, if you don't know where to get started, then go along to my little course here. You can get it at digiteachonline.com. I think it's $29.99. Uh, includes an amazing workbook, which is incredibly useful, and uh, four amazing lessons from me putting it all together. That is the place to get started. Anyway, have a great day. Have a great evening if you're on the other side of the world to me. And don't forget the rest of the people that have signed up for the Teachpreneur Evolution System membership. We launch on the 1st of October. So get ready for Q4. See you soon. Bye.